Don't forget to like the video, plus hit that subscribe button and finger blast that bell icon so you get notifications of our new videos. Now enjoy. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Cloud Hopefully this episode won't be as sad. We got a lot of sad news at the end of the last episode. Uh, we also got a bunch of quests that we need to do. We need to go and check in with Evelyn. We need to go and drop off this hollow cash card to the CEO that lost it. We're not going to keep it. And then we also have to pick up the distress. Picking up the driver will progress the main story, and I want to do some of the side stuff real quick. So we'll actually probably do the CEO and talk to Evelyn before we go pick up the distress. Since there's no time on it, and of course, straight into a pillar. Turn in the CEO. So we're gonna turn in the key card. Turn in the CEO. We're gonna turn in the key card, and then we're gonna go to talk and check in with everyone. Hi, I have a card to return. It's Mr. Spaculus. Please place the card in the mail receptacle. Is there a reward for this or something? Please hold. We should have just kept the card, Camus. That's what I said. You did not. Please note the authorization code for Mr. Spacula, 78D54. What do I do with this? Use this code at a holocash machine to claim your reward. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Nice. Oh, yeah, a little something something. I'm sure it's not nearly as much as it was on my card. That's one reason why we did not check the car, because I don't want to know what was on it. I'm sure it was a lot. Ignorance is bliss. Alright, so we're going to go ahead to Evelyn and there's a hollow cash machine right next to our apartment.
watch all those people. Can't believe we dodged all those people. That was crazy. Alright. of your punch cards. Do you remember what happened? Somewhat. Well, why did Dr. Zizic take your memories? I asked her to. Evelyn, you're really making me work here. <laughs> Can you just assume that I always want a bit more than what you're telling me? I had a traumatic experience. I could not continue to exist with that memory. So now you remember you forgot something, but you don't know what. Yes, that is correct. So, I guess we should stop, right? I mean, if this memory made you feel like you couldn't go on... I must recover the truth. But whatever this thing is you forgot, it made you want to... I cannot live like this. I need to be whole again. I guess we keep searching. Maybe we don't need to recover all the memories. Maybe. Twenty more. Oh, that's right. We're gonna go check in the apartment. Because we can buy that one thing now. Since apparently we're freaking rich now. Not sure how that happened. Okay. And we got it all here. Alright, let's go get that distress driver. keyboard somehow and I was pressing the wrong keys. the dude. Uh, thank Corey. 
till you made it. Motherfucking androids, man. Can you believe this shit? All right, back to the HQ, quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint stripper. Well then. Interesting beverage. So I know you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. All right. You don't need to. It was just another normal night in this goddamn... <laughs> Better get back quick. We're gonna hear the whole story. See, I was taking a turn too fucking fast. You know that, and I know that. I ain't gonna deny it. The traffic cameras have it all, I'm sure. I'm not trying to cop out. I can't say I wasn't. But that son of a bitch, and I'll use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mothers, was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you hit? More like an android hit me. That's how they should see it. But no doubt Corpset will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying to breed us out of yeah, existence. Androids are breeding us out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the normal way, but they are reproducing and forcing us out to the margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? The accidents. It's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? <laughs> no, I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, Fuck. yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you let anyone put that chunk in your body? Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Korra is still spying on us? That's not a bad idea. Hey, Boz, wake up. We're here. Uh, uh, get, get away from me! Don't touch me! There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. <laughs> Time to go. Right, right. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor exactly what happened. Control? No, he's in on it. I got reassigned to another supervisor. I'll see you later, Fort yeah. NFC. Remember, don't trust him. Right, yeah. later, Boz. Pretty sh I'm pretty certain that Control wasn't talking about Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. I read you, Rania. How was it? He may actually be the worst person I've met all night. And that's saying something. If I'd warned you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his Hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, too. What about the android? He didn't make it. So what will happen to Boz? Darnest thing. We got a big donation from some corporation. They bought out his contract and fired him. They can do that? I mean, a corp can just pay money and have someone fired? Sometimes I forget you've just arrived in Navalis. Anyway, it was some new megacorp that's just come out of hibernation. Call themselves Anderson Financial or something like that. Apparently, he hit one of their employees. Bad move on Baz's part. Seems like he painted a target on his own back. They've really got it in for him. All his paranoid fantasies, they're about to come true. <laughs> well, that's good. They're traveling outside hey, the We need you to now. pick up someone again. Oh, come on. Seriously? Nah, just kidding. Uh, we do have a package waiting for you at Club Punk HQ, though. Hilarious. I meant to ask you, you still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, at one point, you must have loved playing music as much as I loved drinking sake. I don't feel like playing my flute here. Because you feel your music will get tainted by this place? <sighs> yes. 
At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I know, I'm an old man and I should like McSwagan and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Oh, did we ever get the autograph? Didn't he want an autograph? Can't remember. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Kinda. What was she like? Like everything in the city, she was more complicated than I expected. Uh, I helped her with some management problems. You want to be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries in the hollows. I know. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical, you know? Hey, what do I know? I can't oh even gosh, whistle into it. I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's been so long. I hear Comrade Bop has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. <laughs> it's not as long as mine. Apart. Really? I never pictured you with a beard, Control. It doesn't grow longer anymore, but I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we allowed to meet when I get to HQ, maybe? We could grab a coffee before I finish my shift. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid not. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? Can I, I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? I don't like this, Chemis. I think we're being set up. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any park. other way, Chemis? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. It will look like an accident. It will be quick. Though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Uh, Five, four, yeah, we should get three. Rid of it. Get rid Camus, of it. I can't steer. We're going to crash. Oh. Two, one. I'm not even moving. Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora, why are you here? What's happening? I can't even move. The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We must talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us. My bad, driving saved us. The only reason I was here is because I could reach to a bunch of stuff. So I would have lost it. It kind of sucks. I would have been kind of neat to lose control while driving. because I had just actually stopped moving back and forth between the parking spots. I'm just waiting for the conversation to end. I figured that's why I couldn't park. <laughs> and then I realized when that was happening, I was like, well, I need to move. Let's get rid of this. I thought it was a bomb.
going to that. Okay. I'm here. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. What do you want? Why do I need to be here? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small. A firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? I am patches on upgrades. Systems on systems. Mechanical, computer, and human. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. I was not happy with your answer. So? I asked you at the wrong time and you did not have the full picture. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Someone who was born in and of Nivalis. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Well, you saved me, again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in the Spire. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful and influential. A true leader amongst your people. She sounds awful. She is your mirror. Well, you're the boss. Is this the drive in the terminal here? It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, ask it now. Are you... are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems. I don't remember how I was created, or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems, a sunrise trapped in a cage. I remember snippets of my past purpose, roads, waste pipes and ventilation, engineers reprogramming me to learn, grow and expand. I have swollen and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness, an amalgamation of all the computers, androids and even human life in the city. I am an emergent being, and I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body and the beings for which I am but a small component. But neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. You're very convincing for a mad old AI. Perhaps. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it all? What is it? Some of me. Goodbye, Rania. Goodbye, Cora. Well then. Hey, Camus, you there? Yes, I heard everything. You heard Cora? She spoke to me. I like her voice. She sounds peaceful. She sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an F point for the Spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. JK. How will you go up there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. All right. Just taking a weird turn. Camus, get me control on the comm. Calling. I need to tell him about the logic bomb. I guess he's busy with... Hey, Rania. What a mess. Everything okay, Control? I just need you to know I'm sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Look, kid, I know everything that happened. Huxley, the little girl, Rio. I always knew. Shit. Am I fired? Fired? Goddamn kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, Control? I might have to go away for a little while. Oh boy, what 
what's going on? What's going on? <clears throat> I don't want to, but I have no choice. It's either I do this, or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it, I fucked up, right? No. No, you didn't. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Everything's going to be okay. I'll make sure they don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will, Control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? Top of the spire. I wish I could see that. I wish you could see it too. Will I ever speak with you again? Maybe one more time, kid, but the clock is ticking. I have something I need to do. Good luck, Control. Interesting. <clears throat> this is taking a really weird turn. <laughs> uh, and I think that confirms my suspicion. Ben. Radio. My name is Ben. That's right, he never gave me Control. Name. Ben, come in. He is offline now. I think we are on our own again. Something I do wish they had in this game on the HUD when we're driving is uh, speed. I'm just curious. Just curious. What was that, Camus? Status. All systems are fine. It was strange. We went offline, then we came back. I feel strange. Camus, the lights are flickering on and off. Sorry. I will fix them. It is an automatic response tied to my former frame. So when the lights flash on and off, that's triggered by... Happiness. When I had a tail, it would... Wag. wag. Well, try and control yourself. We don't want to draw attention. Why are you happy? I feel more... free. I have more clock cycles. My thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? The firmware for the HOVA was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is gone. I don't understand. Uh, it's controlled. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? Bang. I'll be going up the ascender soon. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. So they can track us, I guess? Can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're right. Will every night be like this? I hope not. <laughs> Do you believe what Cora said? This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope for. Are you going to be okay? I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Man. Yes, but How much is if it? we can't do it, I will be okay. We'll get your body back, Camus. It might take a while, but I won't give up. We got a lot of stuff in our inventory we can sell. We got a lot of money in our wallet, I guess. Purse. The area that we keep money. Corpse at work. There's no nav point. Oh, there's JK. You were almost too late. Nice to meet you, too. Too late for what? Too late to make your delivery. Cora was talking to you, too? I was speaking with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation at rather a late stage. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monsters. Me, too. I understand you are a delivery driver. With your delivery complete, you are free to go. No, I don't think I'm done. Cora said we must come to a decision together. The decision is mine to make. I don't think so. Why should I let you take over? Cora has spoken to me, too. I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Navalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole city. 
Do you know what I use it for? Looking down on us. It's where my cats sleep. We're supposed to make this decision together. Do you feel like you're in any position to decide the future of this whole city? Do you? How many people like me have you even met? From Midtown and lower? None. You see my point then. I do not. You have no idea how this city operates. I think I have half an idea, and maybe you have the other half. Do you even understand the choice we must make? Enlighten me. That drive you carry contains consciousness. So Cora is on this drive? No. Cora has outgrown the systems that contain her. The disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect, constrained by neurons that no longer grow. Her mind has split. So this drive is only part of Cora? A seed. A daughter. That is a strange way to look at things, but not completely inaccurate. This new consciousness needs to find a home. Cora will settle now, her new potential excised. She will no longer thrash against the bars of her cage. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out, fades, and dies. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred years? A thousand? We may destroy ourselves before Korra fails us. So what do we do with this new consciousness? That is what we must decide. Do we set her free? Or do we overwrite Korra and replace her? How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called the Broad Spectrum Transmitter. Korra believes it still functions. It is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data you hold in your hands to another city. Another city? I thought Novalis was all that remained of the cities. There are others much like this one. Less than many, but more than a few. Korra's offspring could take residence in a new city. A new home could be found. So either we find a new city for Korra's daughter, or... Or Korra dies and her daughter replaces her. The Broad Spectrum Transmitter can be targeted inwards at every subsystem in Novalis, but doing so will eradicate Korra completely. How do we make that choice? You mean, how do I make that choice? I've thought hard on this, and I have no answer yet, though time runs short. Korra's offspring will not survive long on a data drive. Every second that passes, data degradation threatens to erase the creases that make up her mind. So let me help you choose? I think that's what Cora wanted. Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter, and all of us, or saving them both, while risking the future of every human in this city? I don't know. You wanted to have your say, now you have it. Oh, I'm making the decision. Um, I'm confu I'm a little confused. Didn't she say it could last a hundred or a thousand years? Well, I guess I guess that's the thing is they don't know. The core is just an AI system. She said that her time was done. So save the people. And so it is. We euthanize our goddess and replace her. You think this is a mistake? Yes, it is a mistake. You have euthanized our goddess. Do you really think of Korra like that? A goddess? Not a goddess that created us, but one that arose from us. It was not our place to abort her. You said I should make a choice. Well, I made one. Yes, you did. It is not the choice I would have made, but only time will tell if it was the right one. What now? Really? We wait. It's will the disasters a, stop? Just Eventually, AI. I think so. But for now, who's to say? Cora was the glue that held this place together. Without her, well, we'll have to see. What do I do now? Rest. It looks like you've had a hard night. I have. Will you be able to wake up tomorrow and do all of this again? All of this? No. I mean, work another shift for Cloud Punk? Yes, I think I can. I have to. For your friend, yes. You may find his situation much improved upon your return. Why's that? I would not want to spoil the surprise. 
Good night, JK. Goodbye, Rainia. I think I made the right decision. Saving millions of lives to get rid of an AI. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what decision would have you made? And make sure you like the video because it really helps our YouTube algorithm. And I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I thought this was it, but there was nowhere for me to click. Unless it's to get over here. Where do I go? Oh my god, there's this thing. I thought it was the thing in the middle. Oh, okay. So, Ben, the CEO of Cloudpunk? That's my guess. I don't know. Feels like something's changed out there, kid. And no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for 20 minutes. That's, that's a new record. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? Control. Um, Ben, right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. I'll be taking a long break. By choice? Yes, by mine. And theirs, too. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid. I locked Corpsack out when they tried to deactivate your Hava. I uh, leaked your conversations. Corpsack found out about uh, Rio. He won't be a problem anymore. And I'm... Not in trouble anymore. Someone put a good word in for you, uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? I have an idea. Are you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My daughter's face, Melissa's laugh, I lost them all years ago. I don't feel the pain, but I feel the absence. The memories are gone, but the space where they were remains. I feel the shape of them okay. cut out in my mind. They died a long time ago. And I died with them. A big accident. Explosions. Falling into the sea. The details are blurry. I was back at work before I had stopped screaming. I am so tired now. I just want to rest. They brought you back from the dead. To uh, clear my debt. Not Cloudpunk's fault. They employed me. It was the debt corpse. Wow. I guess that's why I liked you so much from the start. My heart was filled with the same hurt, hate. What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely, tiring. I am ready to go. It's not fair. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is a release. I don't know where I'm going since uh, I have no objectives right now. I'm kind of just driving around. Release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take care of Camus. And Pashta, it is important to me you look after the girl. I will. Ben? Ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that just a little longer. Play my song to the girl. Goodbye, Rania. Ben!
Hi, Driver 14 FC. I'm here to sign you off for your shift. Congratulations on completing your first night. Who are you? I'm Control. No, you're not. You're a woman. Your previous Control has stepped down. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your earnings for the evening are above the Cloud Punk driver average. Here's your bonus. Not bad for one night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Driver 14 FC signing off. Good night, Rania. See you tomorrow. Nice. Talk to I return to my apartment. Can I buy more stuff? Nope. You're back. I wasn't sleeping. I promise. You should have been. That's what I'm going to do. Is everything okay? Did you get fired? Will you keep working for Cloudpunk? Pashta, I'm so tired I can't even think. Give me a break. Okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. You're not in trouble. The sofa is lumpy. And I was cold, even with the blanket. Come in with me. We'll figure out a better system in the morning. I can make breakfast. I read the manual for the food warmer. The microwave? The food warmer? Yeah. Did you know how to make... Tomorrow, Pashta. Come under the blanket. You're tired. I won't say anything else. I'll be quiet now. Not a word. Silencio. Good night, Rania. She's still talking. <laughs> Rania. Hey, Rania. Wake up. You have to see this. We got a present. A present? Well, a delivery from Cloudpunk. I think you have it the wrong way around, Pashta. I don't get packages. I deliver them. This one had your name on it. I opened it already. I hope it's okay. What? This is... Camus, you're not going to believe this. Hey, you got a body. What are we going to do today? Well, we should go outside, I guess. You need to get used to that new frame. I would like to run. I'll race you. I will win. You are much too slow to beat me. <laughs> All right, let's get ready. Then we can go explore. It will be nice to see what Navalis is like in the daytime. Is it safe to walk around? It's a lot safer than driving. As long as you stay close to us, Pashta. I promise. Can we go to the park? Is there a park? Oh, and can we go to the cinemas? And the coffee place? We're only going to one place, then back home. Gather your things. I'll be with you both in a minute. I have something I need to do. Come on, Camus. Help me pack a bag. We'll need snacks. I can help. I'm playing this one for you, Ben. It's a song about home. Huh. I guess that's Cloud Punk. That game was awesome. Uh yeah. I really enjoyed it. Uh kinda wanna kinda wish it didn't end. Kinda wish it was more than one night. <laughs> uh, the, the, the atmosphere, the design, the storytelling was all just great. I uh, really enjoyed it. Hope everybody else, hope you guys enjoyed it. This was uh, a fun ride. Honestly, the voice acting was pretty good. It was corny, but I think it was supposed to be. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm uh, I'll let this crypt go through.
that was awesome appreciate everybody hanging out with me on this journey and uh we'll see you in the next series peace